Hello, so hello from my PSOC 16 in Grenoble, France. I'm with our good partner, Gert TP from Global Fund with, with Europe and market, market director, sorry. So we are together in the things to do project and uh, all passionate by FDSOI. And I think that Global Foundry has four news to announce. So we are absolutely excited to hear your four news. <laughs> okay, thank you for the kind introduction, Gabriel. So, uh, yeah, number one uh, uh, news is uh, we are... Uh, uh, M5 qualified in 22 FDX, so which means uh, the uh, the process is uh, frozen, and uh, uh, we will be entering, uh, and we are well on plan for entering production early next year with uh, 22 FDX uh, with our fab in uh, Dresden in Germany, here in Europe. Uh, so uh, on the second uh, uh, news regarding FDSOI. Um, which was originally invented in the Grenoble area, yes, as you yes. know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and which has uh, then uh, been uh, went uh, went into production on 28 with yeah. STM. Mm -hmm. uh, we have taken it with Global Foundries. We have taken it to 22 now, mm -hmm. uh, which is uh, starting in production soon. And um, we have also announced a roadmap for uh, 12 nanometers. Uh, so there is then a uh, um, a continuous pass of. Um, uh, yeah, uh, FDSOI uh, technology moving from 28 to 22 to 12 and who knows, uh, maybe be young also. Uh, the important uh, message here is that uh, all the investments in FDSOI and IP uh, are going to be portable and uh, moving forward. So, yeah, number uh, three, now. Number three <laughs> you want to know. Okay, so number three is uh, we have uh, talked about uh, uh, how to integrate non volatile memory into um, FDSOI and especially a 22 FDX. And uh, uh, we found that uh, uh, flash technology is not shrinking anymore at this uh, shrink levels. And uh, so we've made the decision to take MRAM into, uh, into 22 FDX. So, uh, uh, this, of course, uh, not early next year, it will be a little later but um, <clears throat> we are well on track to getting this, uh, uh, especially for IoT type applications, uh, all embedded applications need embedded MVM and this is the solution we are going to offer. Yeah, and what was the last one? Uh, uh, no, the, what was the last one we wanted to? <laughs> I, yeah, I wanted to talk. <laughs> no, this is fine. So no, I let let me talk about uh, one more thing. So uh, um, especially the differentiating, the big differentiating uh, potential of FTSOI is the back advice, as you know. Yeah. And um, yeah, but uh, this is a feature which lets you go down in voltage. And uh, when you go down in voltage, our nominal operating voltage on 22 is 0.8 volts. And if you um, uh, go down in voltage, you can reduce uh, the power consumption significantly because in the first order approximation, it's quadratic. So if you go to 0.65, which we are already offering, uh, is, um, is, uh, is already almost half of the, um, if, if it's capacitively loaded, it's about, um, about half of the uh, uh, power. And uh, if you uh, and the real goal is point forward operation, and uh, we think we can reach it, especially with FTSOI, uh, because you can um, use it for corner tightening. Because when you get close to point four volts, everything gets uh, very uh, the the spreads go go broader, and uh, you need to tighten this, and you need a mechanism to tighten those uh, uh, those uh, spreads, and. Um, uh, back advising is a perfect uh, uh, means to do this and uh, so so with this we have already published this in um, mm, uh, on the arm techcon uh, in october and uh, there will be more news on this also so i'm very excited <laughs> to see how uh, ftsoi is uh, moving forward uh, in total thank you so we stop with four news, news is good <laughs> for it's good for this, uh, for, this, uh, <laughs> for this publication <laughs> so congratulations and good luck <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.